I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Greeks have been an element of the Roseville population for many decades. However, during that time, they did not have an Orthodox Church in Roseville. The area's religious needs were met by the Orthodox Church of the Annunciation in Sacramento, and the Roseville residents would travel there to attend church on Alhambra and F Streets. Sometimes they would invite the clergy to come to Roseville for weddings, baptisms, or funerals. It was such an invitation which led to the recent establishment of the first Greek Orthodox parish in Placer County. <clears throat> it was in March 1989 that I called Father Doges and asked him to conduct a 10-year memorial service at the Roseville Cemetery for Danny Moustris and Shirley Stamus. At this service, Father Doges noticed a large number of Roseville Greeks who were not attending church in Sacramento, and he suggested that we start a church in Roseville. Rula Karen and Paul Stambus rounded up seven of us Greeks, and we weekly met at Rula Karen's kitchen table and talked about how to start a church. We called every Greek we knew and didn't know. We researched all Greek names in a telephone directory and talked to every, anyone resembling a Greek. Father Doges came to Roseville once a month on Saturday mornings and conducted liturgy in our various homes and even in our backyards. What a blessing to see your dining room table transformed into an altar. The services in our backyards were especially memorable. As we sang the liturgy, the birds joined in. Later, St. John's Episcopal Church offered their facility, and we held church services there once a month on Saturday mornings. Father Doges was our priest for nine years. He conducted monthly Bible studies and Orthodox study classes. He was our mentor, our priest, and our friend. He steadfastly led us down the rocky, long road that we were destined to walk. We will always be grateful for what he did for us. If you ask Father Doges about Roseville, <clears throat> he will say, I am their mother. I gave them birth. During this time, our little Roseville mission had so few parishioners that when they did not attend church, we went after them and asked them, We didn't see you in church. Were you sick? Or do you have another problem that perhaps we can help you with? The reasons they gave were that church on Saturday mornings did not work for them because they had soccer, baseball, and other activities that took priority. They said if we had a church on Sunday mornings like other normal denominations, they would attend. So the time had come. In May 1998, Paul Stamus called Bishop Anthony and asked him if he could send us a priest so we could have services on Sunday morning. The bishop, concerned if we could support a priest, replied, that if we had $50,000 in the bank and 30 pledged families, he would send us to priests. Paul stated we had over 50,000 in the bank, but only 20 pledged families. And the bishop replied, that's close enough. And on May 6, 1998, the bishop declared the Roseville Mission an official parish <clears throat> and assigned our first priest, Father Cosmas Halikaikis. We rented an office space and transformed it to resemble an Orthodox church, and it was beautifully done. On Sunday morning, July 12, 1998, Father Cosmas conducted our first liturgy at 114 North Sunrise, Suite A1. In December 2000, Angel Tsakopoulos donated 4.5 acres of land for our church, and we broke ground in spring of 2002. Our church is located at the corner of East Roseville Parkway and Stone Canyon Road. Today we are holding services in Founders Hall, our multi-purpose building which has been transferred into a beautiful Orthodox Church setting. Founders Hall has been dedicated to Father Doges and his wife. We have increased from, two, from 20 families to 200 families. These families consist of Greeks, Americans, Armenians, Serbians, Russians, Arabic, and Ethiopians a variety of ethnic Orthodox people, and 70% of our service is in English. We also have an active preschool and daycare. Roseville has a distinction of being the only Orthodox church in America named St. Anna. St. Anna is the mother of the Virgin Mary and the grandmother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. 
On June 2001, Father Cosmas was transferred, and we had the good fortune to get Father Christopher Flasoris from Belmont for our priest. He is definitely the right man for our growing community, and he is moving us forward in a positive way. With the establishment of our Orthodox parish in Roseville, we are now able to leave a legacy to our own children, left to us by our parents, a legacy of religion, tradition, and culture, and their values will enrich their lives as they did ours.